From the comics to the big screen, Wolverine is one of the most iconic characters created by Marvel. But how much do you actually know about Wolverine? Things like how he was created, his origin story in the comics, and his time with the X-Men. In honor of the highly anticipated Deadpool and Wolverine movie releasing on July 26th, today, let's go over the entire history of Wolverine from his first comic appearance to the present day. Wolverine first appeared in The Incredible Hulk number 181, published in November of 1974. It was written by Len Wein with art by Herb Trim. Sorry if I mispronounced those. The full name of the comic is The Incredible Hulk and now The Wolverine. And while art for the comic was completed by Mr. Herb, the art for Wolverine was actually created by John Romita Sr. Well, to back up a bit. Roy Thomas, the editor-in-chief for Marvel Comics at the time, asked Len Wein to create a Canadian character with the specific name Wolverine. John Romita Sr. created the initial costume for Wolverine and is credited with the design of Wolverine's famous retractable claws. In fact, Romita famously said, When I make a design, I want it to be practical and functional. I thought, if a man has a claws like that, how does he scratch his nose or tie his shoelaces? Hence, the retractable claws. Wolverine actually appeared in the final panel of Incredible Hulk number 180, but his official introduction is in number 181. The comic had three main characters, the Hulk, a villain named Wendigo, and of course, Wolverine himself. The Wendigo is an ancient curse that turns humans into flesh-eating monsters. In this comic, the Wendigo is taken over the body of Paul Cartier. Anyways, Wolverine begins the comic by trying to defeat the Hulk, but his claws are getting nowhere against the Hulk's thick skin. Wolverine then turns his attention to Wendigo, thinking it will be an easier target. Wolverine is correct, and the Hulk actually helps Wolverine defeat the Wendigo, knocking him out, which allows Paul's sister Mary to release Paul from the Wendigo. Afterwards, Hulk and Wolverine turn their attention to each other and in a brief fight knock each other out. When they both wake up, they return to fighting, but the Hulk manages to knock Wolverine out again. So while his introduction was brief and small, Wolverine is now an official member of the Marvel Universe. Wolverine's origin story actually begins far before his introduction in The Incredible Hulk number 181. Wolverine was born James Howlett in the late 19th century in Alberta, Canada to John and Elizabeth Howlett. As a child, James was frail, which was actually a result of his mutant immune system. However, James's biological father is Thomas Logan, groundskeeper for the family's estate. One night, a drunk Logan sneaks into the Howlett's home to kill James's father, which triggers James' mutant abilities for the first time. James kills Logan and runs off into the Canadian wilderness with his friend Rose O'Hara. However, his mutant healing abilities cause him to lose part of his memory, erasing the death of his father and Thomas Logan from his memory. Rose gives James the name of Logan as we know it today. We will refer to James as Logan for the rest of the video, by the way. Logan grows stronger as the months pass and takes part in cage fights, where he earns the nickname Wolverine. However, Logan accidentally kills Rose with his claws, which prompts him to live feral in the woods, erasing his memory completely. In the 20th century, Logan resurfaces and takes part in both world wars as a soldier. This is where his favorite quote emerges. I'm the best there is at what I do but what I do is best isn't very nice. During the 1960s, Logan is kidnapped and placed into the Canadian super soldier program called Weapons X. During the program, his skeleton is fused with adamantium, a metal that is very difficult to destroy and can destroy most other materials. Not long after, Wolverine kills the members of Weapons X and joins Department H, a branch of the Canadian government which deals with all things superhuman. This is where Incredible Hulk number 181 takes place in the timeline. So if you're taking notes, trying to piece everything together, that is definitely an important part. Or you could, you know, just watch this video again. Anyway, after his fight with the Hulk, Professor Charles Xavier reaches out to Wolverine, but Wolverine becomes a member of the X-Men when he, Sunfire, Storm, Colossus, Banshee, Thunderbird, Nightcrawler, and Cyclops are sent on a mission to rescue the original X-Men. Wolverine has been a part of many popular comic series and storylines, but let's choose three to look at today. And if you want more, let us know in the comments, and we'll make a video summarizing every major Wolverine comic storyline. Let's go. In 1991, Marvel released Wolverine Weapons X, written by Barry Windsor Smith. This comic is about the experiments that happened to Logan during his time at Weapons X, as I mentioned before. It describes both the physical and psychological pain that Logan endured during this time, along with the fusion of adamantium with his own skeleton. Another storyline is Wolverine, Enemy of the State, which came out in 2004. It was written by Mark Miller with artwork by John Romita Jr. Recognize that name? His father was the one who created Wolverine's original costume. In this storyline, Wolverine is captured and brainwashed by Hydra, similar to Bucky Barnes. 
he sent on missions to eliminate both superheroes and supervillains alike. During this storyline, Wolverine fights against popular Marvel characters like Daredevil and Fantastic Four. Finally, we have Death of Wolverine released in 2014, written by Charles Sewell with art by Steve McNiven. Again, I'm sorry if I mispronounce those names. During this storyline, Logan loses his healing ability, a fundamental part of his mutant abilities. Logan reflects on his life of being manipulated and used as a killing weapon, and sacrifices himself in the end. And of course, this wouldn't be a complete history without including all the movies that Wolverine has started. Now, there's a lot, so I'm just going to briefly summarize each one. First comes X-Men, which came out in 2000 and was directed by Brian Singer. In this movie, Logan, played by Hugh Jackman, is discovered by Professor X, played by Patrick Stewart. Logan is brought onto the X-Men team to fight Magneto. In 2003, X2, X-Men United was released, again directed by Brian Singer. In this film, the X-Men fight against Colonel Stryker, a member of the Weapons X team from Wolverine's origin story. In 2006, X-Men The Last Stand was released, in which a cure for mutancy was found. Magneto aims to destroy the cure, and Logan must stop him. Logan also has to fight against a mutant named John Gray, who has been reincarnated as the Dark Phoenix, and Logan must kill her. In 2009, X-Men Origins Wolverine was released, which is about, you guessed it, Wolverine's origins. Released in 2011, X-Men First Class is another prequel in which Professor X and Magneto attempt to create the X-Men team and try to recruit Wolverine. The Wolverine, released in 2013, is set after X-Men First Class, in which Logan reconnects with an old acquaintance, Yashida, who offers to take away his healing powers. Logan faces the Yakuza, Ninjas, and the Silver Samurai, ultimately reclaiming his will to live. One year later, X-Men Days of Future Past was released, where Logan's consciousness is sent back in time to the 1970s to prevent an event that leads to a dystopian future for mutants. X-Men Apocalypse in 2016 takes place in the 1980s and features Logan after escaping from the Weapons X facility. Finally, in 2017, Logan was released. It takes place in the future where Logan is taking care of an old Professor X while protecting a young mutant girl. And that's, well, all the films. Sorry, I know it was a whirlwind, so if you want us to create a separate video on just the movies, let us know. So there you go, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed this quick look at the history of Wolverine. I hope you all enjoyed Deadpool and Wolverine, and be sure to watch our Deadpool Complete History video which should be out at the time that this video is released. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.